Hey guys and gals, Chartreuse here, bringing you some more Minecraft Redstone today. Today we are doing more of a design process type video where I'm showing more how I got to the final state. The project this time was for one of these item frames, every time it's rotated, I wanted a pulse. It's for, for some lock type thing I'm plat thinking I might try. Uh, may see a video of that soon if I, once I, if I get around to building that. Anyway, uh, I want you watch that torch there is every time this is rotated I want a single pulse now so the first way I thought of doing this which probably wasn't the best is to use one of these which is an analog uh, memory cell it will store a value along with some circuit to check if they're equal now a lot of the time was spent trying to try and make that circuit because normally, like, that's one less, it'll turn off. That's equal. Nothing happens, and greater than nothing happens if you do some test circuit like this. And tried a bunch of little variations, inverters, powering stuff. And then I came to the simple design of this. These can be, We have uh, two comparators, like, like so. And these are your two inputs. And what you do is you take an ant and of the outputs like so and something is not quite right yet um, just power these check sign yeah so what these will do is for everything signal except uh, zero I believe though it does work in here um, no yeah now, everything will except zero, this will work. It'll compare if these two are equal. And when they are, these both go off, so this goes off. And if it was an AND gate, you'd take an output here. So this checks if they're equal. And as I was saying, it doesn't, if they're, if it's zero, they're both on, which kind of ruins it, but don't worry about zeros. Not for what I mattered here. And so what I was doing is I was checking if the input here, going in, was equal to the previously stored one if it was, then nothing happened, but if it wasn't, it would store the current one. And, uh, like this would fire, and when that, because of that pulsing, it would store the current one into the cell. Which then, uh, means they're both equal, so it no longer pulses. So the output of this feeds into he here, which would stop the output from going into the cell. And also, uh, inverted goes up to here, which clears the cell. So when that's uh, when the input's coming through, this is getting cleared, so nothing else stays in there, but it's still getting fed in. But once that's fed in, they'll be equal, so it'll stop latching and so on. And so this design is absolutely painfully slow. You can see the delay from when this changes to when that torch turns off, and how long it turns off. So first thought was trying to compact that design to get rid of all these unnecessary delays like this, this... Probably that one, that one, these repeaters, uh, that comparator, and so, and all of the like. But when I was doing that, which is part of this design here, I originally had a memory cell on the right here. I realized I don't need a memory cell whatsoever. I only I don't care about what the state was. All I care about was what the previous one is. So what I'm having is going to equals with one comparator is the current state. And then with two extra comparators as delay, the state going here. So when this changes, that one changes first, and then this one changes to match. So therefore we get our pulse from that, and it is much faster, much, much, much faster, as you can see here. It's still not perfect, though. That delay comes at a cost, and there's some a few, still a few extra uh, comparators in here causing delay. But it's a great improvement. So, now it's just a matter of fiddling around with this circuit somewhere in it and seeing what I can do. So now, I, it's base, this thing is basically the same thing, except it's feeding off the back here. And I did, that torch actually turns out doesn't matter in this, in this particular design, but it's still there. You would combine them both. So you can see in each one that flashes. Now f on this final one, which is the oddball, one which makes this a bit harder is when it goes from single strength 7 to single strength, or 
Yeah, stre strength se seven. Or, no, eight to strength one. You see it flash that one, then this one. Let's go back over to it. But this one still does flash, even though it's a bit delayed. So, playing around some more, I managed to get this down to three, just three comparators. And this one's doing a bit more of a trick. Uh, this signal going into here doesn't do a darn thing. But what's happening is the strength signal coming out here and uh, going to here. So let me get this to strength 7 so you can, we can see what happens here. Like this is a high strength right now. When I change this, this will be a low. So we have a low signal coming out here. Going here, and we have a low input here. But this output will be higher than it. So this will be completely cancelled. So there will be no power here, which causes this torch to go on. When no power is here, this then this drops to zero, which then lets this through, so it still gives us our pulse here. So we can watch this happen, potentially. Boom. You saw this go low, then that go low, and then this go moderately low again from the strength uh, one signal, which is actually coming through here. Here as well, to stop this from ever this staying at zero, which uh, still lets the signal through. So now this design, compared to the original, much faster, we get a nice one tick pulse off that torch. Except on that last transition where we have a two tick pulse with a slight more with a tick delay at the beginning of it. But it's acceptable, especially for what I'm going to do, that's completely acceptable. And just to show that this signal here feeding into the original first comparator coming off of the item frame has absolutely no effect, I just built it rotated sideways and you get the exact same effect. And now there's a thing, while these are great and they're completely silent and I'll probably use these, I, I found an even easier way. So let's grab ourselves a sticky piston and a redstone block and a, uh, I can't spell with one hand, slime block. Bud switch, comparator, Let me get myself an item frame. I want an item frame. Okay, let's get an item frame. I think you can see where this is going. The butt switch triggers every time this is turned. And it's the same delay every time. I believe two ticks or one and a half ticks. Something like that, but it's not dropping it. You can spam it fast, but it won't it, it can't keep up with the speed of your clicking, but that's to be expected. But it's, this one's reasonably fast. Now it's not silent like that, but it works quite well, and it's actually technically wireless. This ruins it. There's a gap here. That's pretty cool. Anyway, speed chartreuse. Have a nice day.